right, so this time I was going to talk about uh, the importance of values in socionics. Values, quadra values. What are they for? What's the point of it? So quadra values are an enormously important piece of socionics. It's one of the things that really distinguishes it from many of the other systems and adds a whole new layer of depth to the typing and so on of a person. Uh, uh, unlike, well, I'm not there. so it adds a whole other layer of things. So what's important to first separate is that values, okay, as the word implies, you value it. This is like what you value out of life in general the deeper, more important things you care about. These, these values are broken up into the four different quadras and all the members of that quadra in their own way have the same values, okay? We're speaking kind of broadly here. Okay? So don't get too caught up in the specifics that it has to be exactly the way it's worded or otherwise it doesn't work. No, it's a little bit more broadly speaking. Okay, so make sure that you are a little bit loose on the terms here a little bit, okay? The values here, again, it's not, it's when you put all of the different elements together of each particular quadra, they come together in such a way that it produces this, these common values, okay? So when we're speaking values, we're not necessarily directly referring to the information elements. Elements meaning like NE, FI, SE, like those are elements, okay? It's when they all come together to create a person, a whole person, they tend to value certain things. And then certain types tend to value the same things. And that's why they're put together and they become a quadra. So all the different types that are like, let's say alpha types, they value in general having a bit more of a lighthearted attitude towards life. They enjoy having a good time with people, being surrounded by people that they like, having fun, going out, doing things with people they care about, and overall having a fun, friendly like approach to things, not taking life too seriously, not taking things too heavy. Okay, enjoy being around your family, being around friends, have a lot of family and friends as much as you can and have a good time with things. Okay. This is not a group that wants to overly stress things. It's not a group that wants to be overly, they don't really want to be competitive and um, be overly ambitious to go after big titles and lofty things. It's not what's important to them. Perhaps the best way or one example is to think of like, Christmas, a child at Christmas who wants to have that comfortable family feel surrounded by the people you care about the most, family, friends, you know, et cetera, enjoying the fun things in life, the, the toys, the presents, the feeling that the world can be a nice place to have fun with. Okay. It's a happy feeling. It's a comfortable, cozy, uh, life is good kind of a vibe. This is ultimately what Alpha Quadra really strives for the most. Being able to play with ideas, being able to discuss topics, TV shows, things like that. It's not too serious. We're just having fun with different ideas and topics that we can discuss and enjoying each other's company. That's Alpha values. Uh, beta values. Beta now becomes a lot more interested in being much more competitive now being able to go out into the world and make impact on the world, to kind of be somebody, to rally people towards some idea that you think is, is um, the good thing to do for the, for the world, for society in general. You are now trying to push and make an effort. Okay, this is where all the SC and FE valuing comes into play. You realize we can make the world a better place. We can do more. We can fix societal issues. We can change government. We can do better with these other things. I can be better and show off how exciting and interesting I am. 
as a person. Um, so it's not anymore about the cozy comfortableness, but pushing yourself to be better, pushing yourself with ambition, with drive, um, to be better at things, to have more fun with things, to grow your skill, grow your talent, be recognized for that, uh, and still be part of groups. Make Work your way into being part of groups, teams, organizations that are valuable, that are cool, that are important. Um, that's a big thing. That's very beta. Um, even the NF betas can be about uh, an, an ideology, a religion, uh, something that's we all should be pushing for because that's how we evolve and get better as humans. As we just we all get better, so let's all drive towards that. Um, but much more ideological. Gammas again with the SE stuff. They usually have values of being ambition of being recognized for being great at things, their personal achievement. Look at what I've done, look at what I've achieved. Establishing now close relationships, meaningful relationships with specific people that you care about, specific people that really add something to your life. They enrich you in some kind of way. Um, looking for accomplishment achievements, I said, you know, being somebody, being, you know, whatever, and showing their, their achievements through the money that they've accumulated or the titles that they've accumulated, um, the, the awards and medals and things they've accumulated, all that kind of stuff to show their individual value and worth. So a big striving to be better all the time, to improve, never resting on your laurels, but do more. Uh, and seeking out meaningful, exciting, but very personal relationships, big deal. Uh, and then we get to Delta and we have now people who are very humble, very down to earth and are more interested in um, uh, personal growth. They're not interested in competing with others anymore. They're not interested in, in the lofty titles and all that kind of stuff. It's not really the focus anymore. It's just about doing the best for themselves. What they think is, is I did the best I could. I gave it my best shot and I'm comfortable with that. I know I worked hard for myself, achieved what I wanted and what I needed for me. And I don't really need the approval of others anymore. It's a Delta is a lot more giving back now. I wanna help others. I wanna teach others and help them to grow and develop. And if I happen to have skills or knowledge that can help them grow, I wanna share that knowledge. I wanna help others more. Okay. Much more giving back, much more trying to let others grow and be better and so forth uh, and being a bit more comfortable with the people I do have in my life that matters more comfortable with the things that I already have and have achieved. I'm not looking to achieve more. I'm not looking to take over the world. I'm not looking to change things. I'm just doing the best I can with what I've got and getting a lot of satisfaction from helping others. I know that I've helped those people and I can see it on their face that they know I helped them out good counselors, good therapists, uh, good uh, uh, community, people in the community to help the community out. Big on that stuff. So that's Delta. So anyway, these are the values okay, that these different quadrants have. And you should be noticing individuals that have these basic values in life. So they'll often talk about it. These are the, this is kind of how I view life or these are the things that I'm seeking in life. These are the things I would like to do, you know, et cetera and you're hearing that kind of talk, or you're seeing it, you're seeing them do it, you're seeing them go after these things and put energy into it, get fired up and passionate about trying to do these things. And you see that, and they're showing you what they value. That is indicating their quadra. You realize that's what you value, that's what you're all about, okay, that's your quadra. And you're likely to get along very well with the other types within your quadrant because they value the same things, even though they don't use the same information elements to quite the way you do, they value the things you value. So you're going to cooperate pretty well with that. You're going to admire each other for that. Um, so that's the important, okay? Distinguishing those are values that people have. They actually care and are passionate about it. It's not the actual information elements. 
once you figure out what they value and the kind of quadrant, then you can start to figure out what particular information elements they're using that they're strong in and which ones they're weak in. And now you get to the specific type. Okay. That's ordinarily the way to do it. Um, that's usually the way to do it. And it should be how you should organize the difference between what somebody values versus the information elements themselves that they're strong in or not strong in. We can be strong in certain things, but not, um, but not value it. There's some elements that we're just, we're just good at. We just have it, but we don't necessarily care. Right. That's an important concept in socionics. So anyway, I think that's enough here. Trying to stress that point of, of values versus elements. Okay. I think you got it. Uh, as always, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Did this help clear some stuff up for you? You know, et cetera.